Jam. Figure out how you can pay me back later. I've got your back. Right. Okay, mess this guy up. It's heavy, but it's a solid piece of metal. Where? This is a button. Oh! Keep your subsystem access, that's new. Just saying, Just saying that nothing's happening. Something feels locked. Where's the safety of this fuck? The safety? I don't need it. Okay, we got power relay. No, prisoner! What's wrong with this thing? Not doing that. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is an interesting little development. Fine, look, we gotta go. This is my head. Get out. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Go. Oh, oh you, see, you see what you did? You hit your race. Yeah, go ahead and run. You're just making this butter for me. We could just meet him in Old Haven, get a head start, or we could always just go to Hollow Point. Though that might be dangerous. Man, this is a big decision. <laughs> it's weird, but I, I always, uh, you know, talk to myself during, you know, huge choices. It's just something I do, and I, I know it's just. You know, super important. I, I'm not talking to you. I'm, I'm talking to me right now. So, anywho, probably should just choose something. Well, that's probably. We'll meet them at Hollow Point. Then we'll go together, like a family. Sounds good. To Hollow Point. Forgive me? Just say yes, because I feel like super bad right now, bro. Not even worried about it, bro. Man, I'm so relieved to hear you say that, bro. I knew you'd never betray me, bro. Never, bro. Never. Thanks, bro. Hey, we're bros, bro. That's bro, bro. Bro! For bro. Bro, bro. Bro, 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 Are you done? Bro, 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 bro. Unbelievable. I got one. We should probably let him finish. Fine. I'm curious. Why would you choose to go to Hollow Point? 
What was there to gain? I'm growing impatient. There was nothing to gain. It was just the right thing to do. Oh, please, don't be so eager to fall on the sword. We had Loderbot with us. What exactly could our angle have been? It's not like you came and saved the day. We all have our reasons. I suppose yours are good enough. If they were, we wouldn't be here. A man can only take so much. Luckily, you're a safe distance from a man. <laughs> we were stranded in the desert. You had a car. Did you even consider coming to get us? We had our own... One of you will have to change a tire. will be okay. I'm sure they'll figure something out. Probably. But, um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard. If they're smart, they have a chance. I'm not convinced two Hyperion desk jockeys know the first thing about survival in the Badlands. All they have to do is find a shelter and build a fire. They're dead. caravan like this. We couldn't help him if we wanted to. I hope he'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you gonna get him to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. And we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. Oh, please. This is me doing this. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, don't get too cocky. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. Wouldn't have it any other way. Ugh. Does every mechanic have to be gross? Scooter's a fan of the races. Good to know. That race was insane. Rest in peace, Bossanova. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Carries is three to five by twelve. Oh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh, oh hey, man! Welcome to Skitter's Catch a Ride. What can we do for you today? Uh. Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully, handing this place over to the new proprietor today, and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner is surprisingly difficult. Oh, this is a really nice looking place you have here, Scooter. Oh, thanks, man. It means a lot. Business has been a little slow so far, you know, being in a hidden cave town and everything, but it'll pick up. <laughs> Hope it picks up, though. Oh, 
Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere. You were in the latest Boston Over Death Rally. Oh, I was there, man! Did you see me? I was, I was waving! You were a badass! Oh, <laughs> yep, got me. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man. I can fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold. 2,500? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cause my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time, and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great. Maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. You'd be huge. Tell you what. Throw in an extra thousand bucks and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Wow, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Oh, I, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride! You know it. Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase. Catch a ride! Mm, okay, okay, thousand bucks. It's yours, but you're gonna have to win, like, a crap load of races, all right? I ain't made of money, man. I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with, like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass you to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi! Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I was, uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork, let me take care of that. Okay, bye. Alright, man, here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions and whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it for free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. And don't tell me you're broke because I know you got that extra thousand I just gave you. I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know. What the hell? Let's go over the whole nine yards. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas, what can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. Though maybe pressing in for that extra cash wasn't the greatest idea. Out of teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Who were those guys? Man, just some wannabe tough guys trying to shake down a local business owner. You know how it is. Yeah, they looked pretty dangerous to me. Yeah, they probably could have killed me, but I look death in the face a lot. Like all the time. Like, hey death, how you doing? No big deal. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. 
You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? No. I say we hit the safe house. It'll have everything we need. Money, gear, new IDs. I remember when Felix first showed us that place. <laughs> Filthy rat hole. Felix is gone, but that stuff should still all be there. And maybe we can get some answers. Yeah, I think we can figure something out. Thanks, Scoot. Anytime. And I really mean that. I'ma go get started, okay? We shouldn't hang around here too long. Looks like he had company while he was away. Hopefully they didn't find the stash. Come on, look around. We gotta be in and out. Yeah. I got the door. It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. He always complained about the reception on this thing. Right. A phonograph is more to his taste. I had to force this on him once his eyesight was starting to go. Yeah, stubborn as always. I couldn't even get him to stop using floppy disks. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Felix's favorite chair. Those few times he felt he could relax, anyways. A comfort directly proportional to its wear. What's that? A grenade? Yeah, looks like another one of Felix's homemade projects. Well, let's take it. You were always a better shot than me. Man, it used to drive me crazy. That was a long time ago. If it's all the same to you, I could do without Felix's classical music right now. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Yeah, sis? What are the chances those Hyperion boys aren't dead already? Hyperions are resilient. They'll be fine. We better keep at it. Yeah, I'll let you know if I find anything. Felix sure was into science fiction. Hmm, here we go. Always nice to see an old friend. Doesn't look like he changed anything. Probably means there's nothing in there. <laughs> 